here. Welcome to my second video. Uh, it's going to be about if you have an iPhone and you're getting text messages that were meant for someone else. Now, I've run into this issue a few times with people mentioning, oh, I got a text message that was meant for my daughter or my son or they got mine. Uh, almost 100% of the time, the reason you're getting a text message or they're getting your text messages is because on your iPhone you have the same Apple ID as them. So there are four spots where we want to verify that you want to go ahead and have a different Apple ID. Uh, if you are using the same Apple ID for whatever reason, you should definitely stop. If you want to continue using it, I can also show you how to just temporarily stop it. Um, the way this happens is if you have their old iPhone, you switch iPhones, or even after doing some software updates, these settings can change. So the four spots we go to first start in the settings. In settings, iCloud, and iTunes. So if you go into iCloud, that's where the Apple ID will be. Second, iTunes, that's where the iCloud email address should be. So verify that it's yours, not anyone else's. And then the second two spots, the most important ones actually would be messages. So this would be specifically you're getting someone's text messages or they're getting yours. And I'm going to move away just a second because you're going to click into messages. And then the most important part would be send and receive. You're going to tap on send and receive. And then when you tap on send and receive, this is going to be the tab you're going to get. So it's going to have your Apple ID up there and then it's going to have a bunch of options. Uh, the options are going to be you can be reached at and it's going to have a big long list of numbers, email addresses, etc. You want to make sure that your email and your number is the only one checked. If you have anyone else's, that's what's going on there. And then FaceTime. FaceTime would be meant for calls. FaceTime. FaceTime. If it's on, you can use your Apple ID for it. If you have anyone else's Apple ID or if you're sharing an Apple ID or you see someone else's phone number, you'd want to then turn FaceTime off with that little green switch. And I do apologize here. I'm just moving it so you guys don't see my information. So just to recap, if you go ahead and check iCloud, iTunes, Messages, and FaceTime, make sure that your number is the only one listed and that you have your Apple ID this mess uh, overall that's going to be what's going on but i do want to say thank you very much for checking out the video and have a great day